Uh, it's, it, it is huge. I can't tell that lie. It, uh, it's a division win, but uh, for, it, for it to be Pittsburgh in the way we did it, it's special. Uh, and I, I thought the crowd was great all day. Uh, but I told our guys, it was part of the speech last night and, and today pregame, as, as, we, as I had mentioned in press conferences, we, we have our hand, you know, we're fully on the, firmly on the, uh, the volume control. And, and I thought our, our guys did a, did a good job of making plays and, and, uh, and getting the fans into it. Uh, it, was, it was a special day for us and for, and for all of Cleveland. The guys are obviously thrilled with the victory, um, you know, but it's, it's tempered a little bit. Uh, the, the news isn't good on Armani. We don't have a definitive yet. Uh, and and same, with, uh, same with Alex. So you know, today was a perfect example of, of uh, next man up uh, before the game even with, uh, with Ruben being down and having those D linemen step up. And then, uh, and then in game, you know, have Greco slide over to center and, and do a solid job. And uh, I mean, that's there's no excuses on Sunday when when there's injury. So I, I can't be more proud of the group and the coaches on how they handled it. Um, this was, you know, can't understate how, how important this this, uh, this win was for us. How has your team grown from that first game to this game? Uh, I think in a lot of ways. I just think there's. There's a belief. They believe in each other. They believe in what we're doing. Uh, and, like, and as I said earlier, this is a tight team. We, can't, we, we could not have done what we've done uh, to date without it being a tight group. I mean, they, they, uh, there's not a lot of clicks in the locker room. I mean, they, these guys are, are uh, like I said, they do stuff out of the building. Uh, I mean, this is, we talk about being a team, and, and they, uh, they embody that word. What changed on defense today? Did you change anything? Uh, a little less pressure. I thought we we uh, we rushed four. Uh, I don't I don't know what our blitz totals were, but it, w it wasn't many. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we you know we didn't want to give up the chunk plays. Uh, you know we we were conceding some rushing yards and some of the spacing that we were in. Uh, but at the same time, especially once we got the lead, that we didn't want to get any anything thrown over our heads. Is that due to necessity or strategy? A little bit of both. That was the plan going in, but it, it became more the plan. I was joking with uh, with Jimmy at the end of the game that his his call sheet could have been on the on the back of a business card. <laughs> I thought the big swing was was when uh, they'd already kicked the field goal, went right down the field, and then when they mishandled the the, uh, the second one, I, I felt a big. You really feel a big swing there, and here they had, you know, they went went uh, you know, right down the field, got a field goal, and then didn't get one. So that was three, and then, then we were taking advantage of our opportunity. So we ended up with two touchdowns on our drives, and uh, that, that, was, that was huge for us because it, it just really steamrolled from there. Mike, Brian didn't have a huge number today, but it seemed like he made a bunch of critical throws. I mean, what can you say about him? He no, he made, he, he, uh, he made some big throws. I thought the touchdown to Jordan was, was outstanding. I don't know if you could throw a better ball there. Uh, but he handled it well, and then he handled, like once we got the lead, just the, the huddle and, the, and the, that's, that's sometimes a difficult thing because when, when we had some success with the no huddle and then to kind of slow it down and take the air out of it a little bit, that he did a real good job as far as managing that and the, and the calls and the play clock and uh, that, that I thought we were very efficient in the, uh, the second half when we took the air out of it a little bit.